But the, I thought it was a good, hard-fought game. I thought we, uh, you know, it was physical. We played very, very physical, and uh, I, I think that was uh, that was kind of a trademark today. Uh, both sides of the ball. Um, I, you know, you can't say enough about the way you know John ran, how hard he did. We just kept putting it on him and putting it on him. And then I thought defensively, second half, we really. We just really played hard. We were very simple as to how we played on defense in the second half, but we kept everything in front of us and played hard. And um, I thought we did, did a nice job. Really did a nice job there. And, you know, we had a couple things, bad breaks that went against us early. Had you know, passive mics that got deflected and intercepted. That's just one of those things that happens. And then we just had a guy kind of move on that punt and got hit by the snap and that kind of stuff. I guess happens. And you know, but you know, it, it, guys did, did a nice job. Not panicking, not you know, overreacting to th to things that went against us. I thought we uh, we showed some poise today and and uh, and did a nice job. It was good to get a good win against this, a very very solid program. I think. Does part of that toughness reflect how well you did on fourth down and third down? Where yeah, you were very successful in short yardage. Yeah, and three out I, four times on fourth. Down. I, I, I was really impressed with that. I really, both sides of the ball. Both sides, us defensively mm -hmm. stopping them and then offensively getting them, and that's why even there at the end, you know, uh, I really wanted to go for that one down there on the uh, when we kicked that last field goal, but you know, with the it just being a, the, the differential in the game being what it was at that time, I just felt like you know we got to take three points out of the mix, and you know who knows what's going to happen. So and I really wanted to go for that one, <laughs> but I didn't. We kicked the field goal and it was fine. And then at the end there, I mean, you know, any question we're going to run it down and pound it with John. So. How much of it does having John make a difference in that situation? You know, when you have a, a back the back of his experience yeah. level. Well, he knows if you do your job at all up front, he's gonna get the yardage for you. He's gonna get it. I mean, even if you just do okay up front, he's going to get the yardage. He's gonna make the right cut. He's gonna run hard. He's not gonna dance in there. He's not gonna tiptoe in there. He's not gonna look to try to you know he's you know run so hard you know. And that's what he's going to do. He does that all the time, whether it's third and one, fourth and one, or first and ten. He does that all the time. Jonathan, were you expecting as many carries as you got today? Was that part of the game plan? Um, I'm never really expecting any certain number of carries. I'm just ready for whatever, how the game flows or whatever. And that seems like what we needed to do at the end, which is uh, keep running the ball, running the clock out, and get positive yards. So that's what happened. Did you have a lot of people here today? Uh, yes, I have a lot of people here today. Um, Good to see them all. I know they're out there waiting for me. And, uh, so I say, cut the question short so I get out there and say hello. Do you relish those short yardage situations, Jonathan? I mean, because it looked, you, know, you look very determined on those carries, you know, to get that first down on those third and fourth downs and, and, and keep the chains moving. Uh, definitely. I like having uh, faith in the O line and us um, to get that. I like I like that pressure. And uh, the O line likes it too. They like the challenge. They're pumped in the huddle. Ready to get it, so they're ready to move some people, and uh, we just want to put the game in our hands instead of uh, putting some of the pressure on the defense all the time. And as big as John was, you had McBride in there for that one whole drive. Was it just his turn? It was just his turn. We just felt like we wanted to roll up on, on Keith in there and give John. You know, we don't want to be, you know, the child labor laws. You know, my play start <laughs> kicking in or something like that. I don't know. Running that much, so we, had, yeah. But Keith is good back, and he's a good back. You know, I mean, you know, he needs, you know, gets carries in there too, and that's fine. Just kind of just kind of hit that one. Anything, any more than that. But what happened on the punt? Uh, where one of our personal protectors, one of the people in the shield, moved uh, inadvertently into the snap. For, and then you you can figure out if you know why he did it. Then let me know because I don't know. <laughs> you supposed to move in that direction? Ah, uh, no. no. <laughs> I go there. But, you know, hey, it happens. It happens. Jay, can you comment a little bit on the defensive play today? You limited them to 200 yards and uh, had tremendous success on third down. Was it just a game plan? Uh, uh, yeah, we knew coming into the game we had to be tough on third down. Um, they had some good athletes in space. We knew we had to tackle well. Uh, we were very successful on third down, which was good. It helped us today. Um, yeah, we had a couple situations, situations we had to bow up, and we did that. I was very proud of the way um, the guys up front played. Uh, I, thought, I thought they did well. They fought. Um, it, it, was, it was good to come out hold a team like that to, uh, like you said, two more years. Did you guys have a spy on their QB at all? Uh, he does like to take off and run? Not necessarily a spy. We were mindful of them. They were in that read series, so we uh, we keyed a couple of things. But as far as a spy, no, we, we, we didn't go that far. 
Jimmy, are we going to see this kind of uh, play pretty much every week down to the wire with the, the way that the, the CAA is this year, even maybe more so than what you normally get in this league? Well, I, I, you know, we've only had two games, and both of them have been pretty close and fairly low, low scoring to you know, good defensive efforts. I, I don't, I, I have no way of predicting. I, I, I think, you know, there's a lot of good teams in the CAA, and, and I, again, every week you better be ready to play. And, I don't know how they'll unfold. I mean, all I worry about is us continue to <laughs> continue to get better, keep continue to improve. And I thought we improved today over last uh, uh, over last game. I thought we were doing definitely improvement in, in areas, and uh, certainly there's more that needs to be done. But uh, we're, we're playing hard. I, I, I give you that. We we are playing hard, and we're playing with more confidence. That was what one of the things I really liked today. Whether it was Mike. Make it, you know, you know, you know, fourth down. We've got a pass play call on fourth down, and he's not going to panic. He's going to stick that thing in there and throw it, you know. And, you know, and Jake, those guys out there, it's third and short, fourth and short, whatever like that. They're going to come over to play. They just feel they're confident about themselves, and that's what we, that's what we hope we continue with. Like that much of the new running game opened up that pass, that fourth down pass play for you because you had gone to, to him before and he had dropped one and came back, came back to him in that situation. Yeah, um, I mean. They, they like to go a lot of zero man, so we knew that's what they probably do, especially on our jumbo set. Um, but yeah, we knew it'd be be there in one of the two routes. All right, thank you, man. Appreciate All right, it. Thank you.